Hey guys, how are we doing? I uh, I took the day to um, work on that uh, board track racer after I had the frame painted and all the parts were kind of drying for about three weeks. So uh, there's stuff I should be working on, but there's stuff that's uh, fun to work on, and this time I went for fun. So without further ado, I'm kind of going to show you where we are. Got it all put back together as far as uh, the frame and motor and all. Uh, gas tank is. Uh, uh, sealed, but I still have to do the body work and paint the tank, but I kind of wanted to have the rest of the bike together to Get a better idea what I want to do I'll take a little walk around it kind of show you what we got If I get a little closer The idea was I wanted to try to keep pieces, not necessarily chrome looking, just metal looking. Uh, and I pretty much just cleaned them up and uh, rubbed them down with a uh, an oil to protect them from rusting. But I wanted the bike to look like something that somebody put together in the 60s um, with the parts that were available then. So that's kind of what the, uh, the theme of the whole thing is. Uh, Springer front ends all cleaned up, kept that all chrome. And as far as the tank is concerned, I think I'm going to go with um, matching the tires as best as possible for color. And that'll uh, kind of tie the, the center of the uh, the frame, uh, center of the bike to the wheel. So basically you have those three three prominent, actually four prominent colors being the uh, that blood red color. This lighting kind of doesn't show up very well. It actually looks a little uh, darker than what it really is. Um, the black the white and then the metals and I did the uh, exhaust just with heat paint for now I may do something different with that because it, it just kind of gets lost in there but I, I don't want to do any like tacky silver paint or anything like that that always looks like crap you know so I may do the same with that I may just uh, take all that right back off of there sandblast it off and um, rub it down with oil and let it get hot and it'll probably keep it from rusting not that the thing's gonna be out in the weather all that much Strip the paint off the rear light that used to be green. Same thing with that. I believe that's aluminum, so that should not be an issue as far as uh, changing much. Boo boo. It's, right. it's allowed to have boo boos. Right now we're sticking with the uh, the peeled tomatoes can for the air cleaner. Uh, I'm trying to keep it a little bit of yeah. <laughs> eclectic look and um, just took the rust off the wrench and uh, rubbed that down with oil too that's the tranny shifting that's the setup put in and out of gear you got a double bell on the handlebars and uh, again there's uh, gonna be a couple of batteries inside here which runs a light and the tail light and there's a hole left in there and I'll just put a toggle switch on that for on and off and uh, as far as for a kill I couldn't get the flywheel off and I didn't want to damage the motor and uh, I don't know whether it has a wire going to the coil or the coil just comes right off of the motor I'm not sure um, so I'm probably gonna go old school with um, a piece of spring steel coming up and you just short it out to the plug to shut the motor off so and the throttle um, I'm gonna try something. Whether it's gonna work or not, I'm not sure. I'm actually gonna go with, uh, believe it or not, kind of like a setup of a chain running through a tube, through a space, and uh, as long as I can get it, so when the handlebars uh, rotate, that the chain does not get longer or shorter. So as you turn the handlebars, it doesn't adjust the throttle. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with some kind of mechanical linkage like that instead of like a, a regular throttle. Hand grips. Uh, there was blue ones that were on there from the other bike. I need to find something for hand grips. Something old, old looking. Maybe even trying to come up with um, like that tan color that's on the seat. And uh, many other mistakes I really had when I was painting the parts. 
uh, I had this rim hanging on a wire. The wire undid itself and somewhere on it put a big old dent in it. Um, kind of tweaked the rim a little bit. Not bad. It still, still moves fine. But my thinking is this. I have a feeling that it's going to be geared a little too low. I can change with the pulleys here and get some, but I'd actually like to take another shot at making that rear rim and what I might do this is a 26 inch rim this is a 24 inch rim I may take the 26 inch rim and a 20 inch rim which will probably knock it down to about right here um, knock the gear ratio probably up another third uh, so say if it does 20 it'll do 30 if it does 15 it'll do like you know 26 27 um, and I also, I showed one of my other videos that I got from a yard sale. I got the old school uh, leather belt, the crimping tool, and the, the hinge material that you lock the belt together with. I can make any size I want from that. And that is also a tan color, which will, that uh, tan belt will pick up on the seat color too. So, I like it. It looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? It's getting there. For a pile of junk. And I said the only thing I really have is to do is a gas tank yet. And we can do a little bit of putting around. I uh, got another camera. It's kind of like a GoPro, but not a GoPro. So I can do some uh, riding videos, not looking so shaky bouncy. Alright guys, just want to show where we were with this. Um, I'm probably going to start on the gas tank but i'm not going to devote a whole day to it i got a bunch of other stuff i want to get knocked out uh the bus i want to i got the new propane tank for it and a gas tank ceiling kit which is just all the o-rings and stuff i got to drop the, the tank in it um the ford the title came in for it the ford pickup and um i just want to do a little couple of things left on that so i can put it up for sale so uh, those things are kind of taking some priority i was thinking about taking the the motor painting the head black and then sanding it but uh, I don't know, they might be just fine just the way it is. Not like I can't change anything I want in the future, right? I get another chain for it, that chain shot. I gotta pop one off another bike. It's actually the links are frozen in a couple of places. All right guys, I'll stop yapping. Uh, thanks for uh, the comments and subscribing and uh, watch my videos. Take care.